Cool. Testing, testing. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the National Atomic Testing Museum's uh, survival testimonial as part of uh, our Distinguished Lecture Series. My name is Joseph Kent. I'm the Director of Education for the National Atomic Testing Museum, and we're proud to once again be working with the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum uh, to put this event on. Uh, and we are excited um, to be welcoming our uh, speaker for this evening, who is uh, Miss um, Yoshiko Kajimoto. And uh, since 2000, Miss um, Kajimoto has been sharing her experiences as a 14 year old um, in Hiroshima, Japan, during the um, first attack um, of the atomic bomb on that city. Um, and so uh, we are excited to, uh, to be welcoming her to share her story. Um, and since 2000, she's been sharing, as I said, her story uh, to those around the world in Japan and abroad, um, including uh, Barcelona, uh, Missouri, Iowa, uh, uh, Budapest, um, and um, now here uh, with all of you, um, through our museum. So uh, we are excited to, to welcome you to this event. And uh, we are uh, proud to be partnering, as I said, with the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum uh, to put this on. Um, so it is my pleasure to, to welcome our esteemed guest this evening, um, Ms. Um, Yoshiko Kajimoto. Thank you so much. Hi, Kajimoto-san, yoroshiku onegaitashimasu. お願いいたします。いいの。いいの。皆さん、こんにちは。ただいまご紹介いただきました。梶本よしこと申します。よろしくお願いします。Good afternoon. My name is Kashimoto. Thank you very much for your kind introduction. それではこれから被爆体験をお話ししますが、地図の説明をいたします。and now I'd like to speak about my experience of the atomic bombing. First, let me show you this map. This is a map of Hiroshima at the time of the atomic bombing. The red indicates the burnt out area. The radius is two kilometers, so the area is four kilometers by four kilometers. Doso. Uh, could you yes, see this photo? As the photo shows, Hiroshima became a city of death. Doso. Uh, let me show you this map again. The yellowish brown area is where the houses were destroyed by the blast but not burnt. The white area is where houses were half destroyed. Doso. Hiroshima wa nana hon no kawa ga nagarete imasu. Heiwa koen wa koko desu. Heiwa koen no iriguchi ni aioi bashi toyu hashi ga arimasu. There were seven rivers in Hiroshima. Today's Peace Park is here. At the north end of the park, there is a bridge called Aioi Bridge. This bridge was the target of the atomic bombing. The bomb actually exploded above Shima Hospital, about 300 meters away from the bridge, at an altitude of 600 meters. So Shima Hospital was the hypocenter. 
ここから 2.3 キロ北に離れた工場で私は被爆しました。I was 2.3 kilometers north of the hypocenter working at a factory. どうぞ。爆心地から 2.5 キロ西のコイという町に私は住んでいました。I lived in the area called Koi in Hiroshima, 2.5 kilometers west of the hypocenter. どうぞ。私は1931年に生まれました。今年90歳です。被爆の時は14歳で中学校の3年生でした。I was born in 1931. Now I'm 90 years old. At the time of the atomic bombing, I was 14 years old and a ninth grader. どうぞ。場所は爆心地より 2.3 キロ北で飛行機のプロペラの部品を作る作業中でした。あの頃の中学生は労働力として国の命令でみんな働いていました。At a factory located at 2.3 kilometers north of the hypocenter, I was making airplane propellers. In those days, middle school students were all mobilized to work ordered by the national government. On the morning of August 6, 1945, the weather was fine. There was not a cloud in the sky. The sun was shining brightly, and it was a hot day. どうぞ窓にパーッと真っ青な光が流れ、爆弾だと思いました。瞬間頭の中に父、母、おばあちゃん、3人の弟の顔が鮮明に浮かんで、私はここで死ぬるんだと思ったとき、本当に怖かったです。Suddenly, a bright blue light flashed at the window.I thought we had been bombed.At that instant, the faces of my father, mother, grandmother, and three brothers appeared before me.I thought I was going to die there.I was really frightened. どうぞ。すぐ両手で目と耳を押さえ、機械の下に潜り込みました。I immediately covered my eyes and ears with my hands and crawled under a machine. どうぞ。次の瞬間、地球が爆発したと思うような大音響とともに土地が吹き上がり、私の体が浮き上がったと,ところまで覚えています。木造の2階建ての工場の下敷きになり、気絶しました。Next moment, I heard a tremendous roar. It was as if the earth had exploded. I remember the ground rose and I was lifted in the air. The two storied wooden factory collapsed on me and I fell unconscious. どうぞどれほど経ったかわかりません。友達の悲鳴で気がつきました。After some time, I came to as I heard my friends screaming. どうぞ真っ暗な中で何が起きたのか分かりませんでした。私はなんでこんなとこにいるんだろうと考えますが分かりません。体を動かしてみると両手と頭が動きますが肩、背中、足まで瓦礫や材木の下敷きになっていました。右の腕がズキズキと痛んでその痛みで私は生きてるんだと思いました。What had happened? I didn't know why I was lying there. I tried to move. I could move my arms and head, s、uh, but、um, I le- knew that、uh, my body was、uh, trapped under the collapsed building. My shoulders, back, and my right arms、uh, were throbbing with pain. As I could feel the pain, I thought I must be alive. どうぞしばらくすると目の前に足が見え友達が私の下敷きになっています。この足を一生懸命引っ張ったり、揺すったりしていると気がついてくれて、お母さん助けて痛いと叫びました。Then I saw a leg in front of my face and found that a friend was under me.I tried hard to pull her leg and shake it.Then she came to and screamed in pain, saying, Mother, help me. どうぞ。その声を聞いた時の嬉しかったこと、もしこの友達がいなかったら、生きようとか外に出ようとか思わなかったと思いますが、私は早く出んと危ない、火事になるよと叫びました。I was really glad to hear her voice.If she had not been there, 
I would have given up. Without her, I wouldn't have thought we had to get out. I called to her, we must get out as soon as possible before a fire breaks out. どうぞ。それは工場が倒れると、中で火を使っているので、必ず火事になるといつも言われていたからです。Our teachers had always said if the factory collapses, there will be a fire. We use fire in the factory, so get out as soon as possible. どうぞ。私は何とかして外に出たい、友達を助けたいと思いますが、体は動きません。その時、今火事になったらどこから焼かれるんだろう。髪の毛か足からか焼かれていく時どんなに熱いんだろう。死ぬ時はどんなに苦しいんだろう。真っ黒に焼かれた私の体を誰が見つけてくれるんだろういろいろ考える時間がとっても怖くて長い長い時間でした。I wanted to get out and help my friend, but I couldn't move.I thought, if fire breaks out now, which part of my body will be burned first?My hair, my legs, how hot will it be?Who will find my body if it's charred? I was imagining, imagining all sorts of things. I was frightened. It felt so long. どうぞ。叫んでいた友達が、明かりが見える。逃げようと言いました。二人で一生懸命材木屋がれきをゆすって動かしました。友達の体が下の方に落ちたんです。これで逃げられると嬉しかったです。My friend who was screaming said, I see some light. Let's try to get out. Two of us tried to shake the lumber and rubble on us as much as we could. Then my friend suddenly slid down into a space below. I was glad to know that we could、uh, get out now. でも、はい、どうぞ。すみません。はい、でも、私の右足が材木に挟まって出ません。無理に思いっきり引き抜いたときに、ズボンは破れ。足も大怪我をして大量に出血しましたが、その時の痛みを覚えていません。足が出たことが嬉しくて、友達の名前を呼びながら、手や服を持って、材木、瓦礫、機械の間を潜って、必死で張って出ました。But my right leg was trapped under a beam. When I pulled out my leg with all my might, my work pants were torn and my leg Was seriously cut and bled badly. But I don't remember the pain. I was glad I was freed. I called my friend's name and held onto her hand and clothes as we crawled under the beams and rubble and machines and desperately tried to get out of there. d o so. Soto ni deru to Hiroshima no machi wa kono yo ni a j o t a i de nan ni mo naku. すべてぺちゃんこに潰れていました。あれほど暑かった太陽もありません。暗く静かで魚が腐ったような異様な匂いがしてました。When we got out, the city of Hiroshima was gone, as this picture shows. Everything was flattened. The hot sun was nowhere to be seen. It was dark and quiet. It smelled awful, like the smell of rotten fish. どうぞ。出てきた友達は五六人いましたが、髪は逆立ち、体中が真っ黒で、頭から血を流しているもの、手や足から血が吹き出ているもの、腕の肉がちぎれて皮がぶら下がっているもの、足の肉が取れて骨が見えているもの、白いユニフォームは血で染まっていました。みんな反響欄でした。I saw five or six of my friends outside the collapse building. There were They,、uh, they were covered with soot, with their hair standing on end. They were bleeding from the head, hands, and legs. One of them had injured her arm with the flesh ripped off and her skin hanging down. Another's, another's leg bone was exposed. Their white uniforms were soaked in blood. Everyone was frantic. どうぞ私の下敷きになっていた友達が一番ひどい怪我で腕がブラブラ、皮一枚でつながって、肉がちぎれて、骨が見えて、それはかわいそうで、見るのが怖いようでしたが、包帯も三角形もないので、私のブラウスの袖をちぎり、傷に当て、鉢巻きでくくることしかできませんでした
My friend who had been under me was most seriously injured. There was a deep cut in the flesh exposing the bone. I felt sorry for her. It was hard to look at her wounds. We didn't have a bandage or sling, so I tore the sleeves off my blouse, put it on her wound, and tied it with a headband. That was the only thing I could do. どうぞ。私の足も出血がひどいので、ズボンの上から鉢巻きでくくって止血しました。工場の中には動けない人が叫びながらたくさん残っています。I was also bleeding heavily from the leg, so I tied my leg with a headband to stop the bleeding. Many people were still in the factory, trapped under the collapsed building and crying for help. どうぞ。怪我をして血を流している友達同士が柱や瓦礫を除いたり機械を動かし、全員助けましたが、その人たちは骨折、打撲で立つことができず。スバルカネコロンで痛い痛いと泣いていましたが、何の手当てもできませんでした。Along with my friends who were injured and bleeding, we moved the pillars and、uh, rubble and machines and helped all of them out. Their bones were broken and bruised, so they could not even stand up.、Uh, they sat or lay on the ground, crying in pain. We couldn't give them any treatment. どうぞ。その頃、爆心地からお化けのような人たちがやってきます。両手を前に差し出して、焼けた皮はペロンと剥け、爪のところで止まって、ボロンのが垂れ下がっているように見えました。By that time, many people were coming from the city center. They looked like ghosts. They held their hands out in front of them. Their skin had peeled off. And was hanging from their nails like rugs. どうぞ。着ていた服は吹き飛ばされたのか焼かれたのか丸裸です。顔は風船のように膨れ、唇はめくれ、頭から体中から血を流して、よだよだと人の後ろについて並んでくる姿はお化けの行列のようでした。They were naked. Their clothes might have been blown away or burned. Their faces were swollen like balloons. Their lips were averted. They were bleeding from their heads and bodies and walking wearily in procession like ghosts. どうぞ。その中に中学生の男の子が自分のちぎれた腕を持って私の方にやってきて目の前で死んでしまいました。Among them was a middle school student who was holding his arm, which had been cut off. He came toward me and fell dead in front of me. どうぞ。その時の男の子の怖い、悲しそうな顔は今も忘れることはありません。一瞬に焼かれ、何が起こったのかわからないまま死んでいったんです。この中学生にも夢や希望があったはずです。I cannot forget his frightened and sad look. He had been burned instantaneously and died without knowing what had happened. I'm sure he had his own dreams and hopes. どうぞ。死んだ赤ちゃんを抱いたお母さんが何かわからないことを叫びながらぐるぐる回っていました。気が狂っています。こんな無残な姿をした人が続々やってきます。どれも人間の姿ではありませんでした。I saw a mother holding her dead body.、Uh, sorry, I saw a mother holding her dead baby in her arms. She was screaming something and turning around and around. She was insane. I saw many suffering people. They didn't look like humans. どうぞ。お昼近くになった頃と思います。近くの家から火災が発生しました。自分で歩けない友達をタンガに乗せ、4人で運びました。It was probably around noon. A fire had broken out at the nearby house. We found stretchers and carried our friends who couldn't walk. Four students carried one stretcher. どうぞ。工場から公園まで数百メートルの距離ですが、その長かったこと、重たかったこと、足が痛かったことを覚えています。友達を助けるために必死で運びました。It was only a few hundred meters from the factory to the nearby park. 
but it seemed so far. I remember the stretcher felt really heavy and my legs hurt. It took all our strength to carry our friends. So, その頃、町の中は死体でいっぱいでした。死体を踏まないように歩くんですが、川をぶら下げたまま死んでいるので、仕方なくぬるぬるっとした川を踏んだことをはっきり覚えています。今もあの感触を忘れることはありません。The city was full of dead people. I tried not to step on them, but I couldn't help it. Since they had died with their skin peeled off from their bodies, I couldn't avoid stepping on their skin. I clearly remember the feel of their slimy skin. どうぞ。道には目が飛び出ている人、内臓の流れている人、肉片が転がっていたり、血の匂いやら、それはそれは地獄です。There were people whose eyes had popped out and whose internal organs had spilled out. Pieces of flesh were scattered on the roadside. And it smelled of blood everywhere. The city was hell itself. どうぞ。これから生きていく皆さんが死体をまたげて逃げるようなことは絶対にあってはならないと強く思います。You have future. I hope you never have to escape like that, stepping over dead bodies. どうぞ。夜は川の手で一夜を過ごしました。真っ赤に燃えている広島の空を見ながら、家族のことを考え、泣き泣き一睡もできませんでした。We spent that night on a river bank, gazing at the burning city I thought about my family.I cried and couldn't sleep a wink. どうぞ。二日目も怪我をした友達をより安全な北部に運ぶのに一生懸命でした。On the second day, We did everything we could to get our injured friends to safer areas in the north. どうぞ。一方、市内のあちこちで死体の焼却が始まります。原爆で焼かれた体があっちでもこっちでも山に積まれ、太陽の熱で腐っていき、ウジ虫がいっぱい湧いて、人が腐る匂いは言葉になりません。The cremation of dead bodies started at many places in the city. The bodies Burned by the atomic bomb were rotting under the hot sun. The rotting bodies were covered with maggots, and the smell was awful. どうぞ。空き地や道端に死体を重ねて、その上に瓦礫を積み、一斉に油をかけて焼きます。People in the city laid dead bodies on top of another in vacant lots and by the roadside, put rubble on them, poured oil, and burnt them. どうぞ。広島中に真っ白い煙が立ち、臭い臭い匂いで、広島は火葬場になっていきました。White smoke rose all over Hiroshima. A bad smell filled the air. All of Hiroshima became a crematorium. どうぞ。その中を移動していくので、服や体に臭い匂いが染みついて、水さえ飲めないこともありました。当分、匂いが体から取れませんでした。その中を3日間友達を運んで避難していきました。People who walked in the city smelled awful too, as the foul smell on their clothes and bodies did not go away. I couldn't even drink water. The smell on my body didn't go away either for a long time. For three days in that situation, we carried our friends to a safer place. どうぞ。原爆10日から3日目の午後。私の町は焼け残っとると言われて、友達と二人で帰る途中、偶然父と出会いました。On the third afternoon, I was told that my neighborhood had not been destroyed by fire, so I decided to go home with my friend.On the way, I happened to come across my father. どうぞ。父は原爆が落ちるとすぐその日から、工場の焼け跡を、私の名前を呼んで、死体をひっくり返し、顔を確認して探してくれましたが、見つからず、中学生、女学生は全滅だと噂が流れて、もう死んでると思ったそうです。My father had been looking for me since that very day of the bombing at the burnt factory site, calling my name and turning dead bodies over one after another. He couldn't find me. He had heard that middle school students were all dead, 
So he thought I、uh, was also dead. どうぞ。それが元気な私と出会えたので、父は喜んで、よういきとった、よういきとったと友達と二人を抱きかかえ、泣いて喜んでくれました。He was so happy to see me and said, Thank goodness you are alive, you are alive.He held me and my friend in his arms and cried. どうぞ。その時、父のカバンの中には、着替えの肌着と白いおむすびが一つ入っていました。In his back, my father was carrying my clean underwear and a small rice ball. どうぞ。あの頃、食料なんだったために、私の家にはお米はなかったと思いますが、母が何かの時にと、わずか取っておいたお米でおむすびを作り、見つかったら死ぬる前に、一口でも食べさせてやってほしいと生きているか死んでいるかわからない、私のために泣き泣き作ったと聞きました。As food was scarce, we didn't have much rice at home, but my mother made the rice ball from the emergency stock of rice so that I could eat it before I died if my father found me. I heard she made the rice ball shedding tears. どうぞ。父はそれを持って3日間死体をめくり、私を探してくれました。そのおむすびを見たとき、一気に涙が溢れてました。親の愛情を感じた瞬間でした。For three days, my father looked for me carrying that rice ball. When I saw the rice ball, tears flowed from my eyes. That showed how much my parents loved me. どうぞ。それから三人で帰る途中、川の中は馬と人でいっぱい死んでいました。広島の七本の川は何日もこのような状態が続いていました。On the way home, I saw a dead horse and many dead people in the river. The seven rivers in Hiroshima were like this for many days. どうぞ。私は帰宅して8月いっぱい寝たきりで食欲はなく、高熱が出て、歯ぐきから大量の出血がありました。これは放射線の初期の影響ですが、あの時何も知らないので、母が大変心配しました。I went home and became bedridden until the end of August. I had no appetite. I had a high fever and my gums bled badly. These were early symptoms of radiation effects, but we knew nothing about radiation, so my mother was really worried. どうぞ。腕の傷は可能して、帰った時はウジ虫が湧いて、祖母が泣きながら割り箸で一つ一つウジ虫を取ってくれました。薬もお医者さんもなく可能するばかりです。The wounds on my arms festered. By the time I got home, they were covered with maggots. My grandmother removed them with chopsticks. She was crying. There was no medicine or doctor. The wounds didn't heal, but continued to suppurate. どうぞ。2ヶ月ぐらい経って、ようやくお医者さんに見てもらうことができて、傷口からガラスの破片を7個取り出してもらいました。Two months later, I could finally see a doctor. He removed seven shards of glass from my wounds. どうぞ。ま、麻酔はなく、3人で押さえつけられ、悲鳴を上げながら取ってもらいました。足はパンパンに腫れ、当分動くことができませんでした。それでも私は生きることができました。There was no anesthesia. Three people held my body while the doctor removed the glass shards. I screamed. My legs were swollen and I couldn't walk for a long time, but I survived. どうぞ。父は爆心地から 2.5 キロ離れた自宅で被爆して、やけどもけがもなかったのに、1年半後、血を吐いて、間もなく亡くなりました。これは私を探すために3日間死体をひっくり返して焼け野原を歩いたために残留放射線を浴びたからだと思います。At the time of the bombing, my father was at home 2.5 kilometers from the hypocenter. He was not burned or injured, but a year and a half later, he vomited blood and soon died. That was probably because he had walked in the burned out city for three days. Turning dead bodies over to look for me and was exposed to residual radiation. 
あの時原爆も放射線も全く知らされていないし色も匂いもないので多くの人が市内に入って人を探しましたその人たちは大型原爆症で髪の毛が抜け血を吐いて亡くなりました In those days, people did not know anything about atomic bombs or radiation. Radiation is odorless and colorless, so many people went into the city to look for people. Due to the radiation, many of them lost their hair, vomited blood, and died. Do so. 放射線が怖いのはその被害がまだ終わっていないことです。76年経った今でも多くの人が。What is frightening about radiation is that the harm has not ended yet. 76 years have passed, but many people are still suffering from leukemia and other cancers. どうぞ。私も1999年、胃がんのために3分の2摘出する手術をしました。多くの友達もがんで亡くなっています。I had surgery for stomach cancer in 1999, and two thirds of my stomach is removed. Many of my friends have died of cancer. どうぞ。被爆者である私はこれまでもこれから先も子供、孫、ひい孫の健康に不安を感じながら生きていかなければなりません。As a survivor of the atomic bombing, I have felt this anxiety. I will continue to worry about the health of my children, grandchildren, and great grandchildren. これから戦後の話をします。戦争が終わって急に平和になり、生活が楽になったのではありません。むしろ戦後生きることが大変でした。Now let me talk about the post-war years. After the war was over, peace did not come at once. The life was not easy. Rather, the life after the war was more difficult for us. Do so. Chichi was a hibak u c h n e n hango ni na kunari mashita. Haha wa ni ju nen kan iki te imashita ga, hotondo new in se katsu de shita, gen bak show des. So no tame, haha no bio in dai to, san nin no oto oto so ateru tame, watashi wa ikka no dai koku bashira des. My father died one year and a half after the atomic bombing. My mother lived for 20 years. But she was mostly in hospital due to illness caused by the atomic bombing. I had to work to pay for my mother's hospital bills and to raise my three younger brothers. I had to support my family. Do so. 10年間夢中で働きました。私は幼い頃から教師になりたいという夢を持っていましたので、教員、養成所のある学校へ入学しましたが、その夢も叶うことはありませんでした。I desperately worked for 10 years.I used to have a dream.I had always wanted to be a teacher since I was a child.So I had entered a school which offered a teacher training course.I could not realize my dream. どうぞ。毎日の生活の中で一番大変だったのが食料がないことです。戦中戦後日本は本当に食料が不足して食べ盛りの3人の弟に食べさすものがないという日も何日かありました。生きることの大変さを身をもって感じました。What was most difficult was that we didn't have enough food. During the war and after the war, Japan was in serious shortage of food. My three brothers had big appetite, but sometimes we had nothing to eat. Life was hard. どうぞその上、被爆した女の子は結婚できない。原爆はうつる、遺伝する、結婚しても子供はできない、できたら障害児だ、ひどい差別を受けました。I was also severely discriminated.People said the girls who were survivors of the atomic bombing could not get married.They said that the effects of the atomic bombing were contagious and hereditary. They said when the survivors、uh, got married, they couldn't have children. If they had children, they would be disabled. So, あの頃言われていました。原爆は死んだ人も地獄だったが、生き残ったものも地獄だったと、本当に地獄でした。In those days, people said it was hell, not only for the dead people, 
but also for the survivors. It was a help. どうぞ。毎日父を返してほしい、母を元の体にしてほしいと原爆を恨み、アメリカを恨み、日本の政府も恨みながら生きていました。空白の10年と言われますが、貧困と差別で苦しんだ10年でした。I wanted my father back. I wanted my mother to be healthy again. Every day I lived hating the atomic bomb and America. I hated the Japanese government too. People say the first 10 years was a lost decade. During the decade, I suffered from poverty and discrimination. どうぞ。証言を始めたきっかけです。私はおじの紹介で被爆者と知ってそれでもいいという人と結婚しました。2人の娘と4人の孫、ひい孫4人います。20年前、主人が他界した時に中学3年生だった孫娘が突然、証言活動を教えてくれました。被爆体験を話さずに死んじゃいけんよと強く勧めてくれました。Let me talk about the reason why I started Talking about my experience, my uncle introduced me to a person who was willing to marry me, although he knew I was an ABOM survivor. I have two daughters, four grandchildren, and four great grandchildren. When my husband died 20 years ago, my granddaughter, who was in the ninth grade, told me about survivors' testimonies. She strongly suggested I should tell my experience too. She said I must not die without telling my experience. どうぞ。原爆は嫌な思い出ばかりです。忘れよう、忘れようとしていたことを55年経って思い出して原稿を書くことになりました。I only have bad memories about the atomic bombing. I had tried to forget about it for 55 years before I wrote about it. どうぞ。2001年3月から証言を始めました。証言を始めて間もない頃、外国の高校生に証言した際、アメリカの男性が今もアメリカを憎んでいますかと尋ねましたので、10年間恨みながら生きてきましたが、今は恨んでいません。恨んでいては前に進めないし幸せになれないと思うからですと答えるとごめんなさいと深々と頭を下げてくれました。I started giving testimonies of my experience in March 2001.Soon after I started telling my experience, I met high school students from overseas.A young man from America asked me if I still hated America.I said, For the first 10 years, I hated America. But I don't hate America now. If I hated America, I couldn't move forward, and I don't think I can be happy that way. Then he said, I'm sorry, and bowed deeply. どうぞ。その青年の姿を見たとき、こんな若者に謝らすことはない。アメリカの一人一人もみんな平和を願っていることがわかり、その時、心の底からスーッとわ,わだかまりが消えました。あれから20年たち、現在に至っています。When I saw this young man, I thought I didn't want to make him apologize.I knew that American people all want peace.I felt something in me changed.Twenty years have passed since then. どうぞ。最後にお願いです。現在地球上には約1万3400発の核兵器があります。今の核は広島で使われた核の数千倍の威力があると言われます。Before closing, I have a request.It is said that there are about 13,400 nuclear warheads on Earth.I understand that the nuclear weapons of today are thousands of times more powerful than the bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima. どうぞ万が一一発でも爆発すれば世界は汚染され人類滅亡の道をたどりますそんな中核保有国の中には使いやすい小型の核兵器を作ろうと核分割の道を示した国もあります If one of these weapons explodes, the world will be contaminated and the human beings will take a path toward annihilation Among the states that possess nuclear weapons, there are some that are driving nuclear arms race. 
by trying to develop small and small usable nuclear weapons. Doso. Nuclear issues are not the past history of 76 years ago, but what we face today. Each of us citizens must call for peace. We must seek for a society without nuclear weapons. For that purpose, we must work together with people around the world and do what we can. どうぞ。I'm glad that the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons took effect this year. This was made possible thanks to many people's efforts. We still have a long way to go, but the atomic bomb survivors will continue to work together with you to call for the abolition of nuclear weapons. I hope your wisdom, determination, and action ありがとうございます。ありがとうございました。Thank and, and I would also like to thank uh, the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum, uh, as well as their interpreter for also joining us and helping to make this event a reality. Um, and now we're going to turn over to some questions. We're going to start with uh, those in attendance uh, here at the museum, and then we'll switch over to those who are uh, watching virtually. Um, so we'll go ahead and, and take the mic around. And um, please raise your hand if you do have any questions uh, for Ms. Kajimoto this evening. Uh, Kajimoto-san, え、本当にお話を聞かせていただきました。最初に、え、今から質疑応答になるんですけれども、最初に会場の方からの質問をお聞きするということですので、よろしくお願いいたします。Thank you. Um, if you could travel back and, and tell yourself one thing when you were a young girl, what would you tell yourself? Kajimoto-san,もし何年か遡ることができて、若い自分に会うことができたら、その当時の若い自分に何と声をかけますか? あの、だからこの I want to say you did a great job for surviving that hell. You overcame, you did everything to overcome the atomic bomb and uh, you lived until peace came. So good for you. I want to say that to uh, me. Actually, uh, I have a question. Did you stay in contact with any of your friends from the factory? Uh, 
はいあのえ10年くらいえっと10年、えー、30だから20年くらいまでは付き合ってましたけどあの一人亡くなり一人亡くなりして本当に若いうちにあのがんになって亡くなっていった人がどんどんであ,のありまして今現在はたった一人しかいませんあのその人だけと連絡取れますけどあの親しくしてた人は全員亡くなりました Almost all my close friends have died Uh, but for the first 10 years or 20 years, I, I kept contact with them. But、uh, one friend died, another died.、Uh, since they were really young, many of my friends died due to cancer and other、uh, reasons. And、uh, only one of my friends still is alive, and I,、uh, she is still my friend. We contact each other. Thank you so much for sharing your experiences. It's definitely brought a lot of light to a lot of us. Thank you so much. Arigato Zaimas, Kajimoto san. Honto ni iroiro to kangae sase rare r u k o t o g a r i m a s h t a Arigato Zaimas. Arigato g o z a i m a s h t a Thank you. I have a, a one more. I have a question actually. Um, now, um, I do believe that.、Um, That you,、uh, you got a chance to talk to、um, Pope Francis、um, when he visited.、Um, can you tell us a little bit about that experience? Because I think that's a really important one to share.、Um, and I know it's probably a, a notable、uh, event from your life, but、uh, could, you, could you share us a little bit about your experience with、uh, Pope Francis?、Uh, Kajimoto san, Vatican Kara, Francisco Hoga, Kyoko Ga Kurae Tatuki Ni. はい、お会いされたんですよね。はい。その時の経験を教えていただけますか。はい。はい、もう本当にあの何か天から降ってこられたお方のように神々しく思いました。そしてその時にあのおっしゃった言葉があの原子力の戦,戦争利用は犯罪だ。と言われたことと、あの兵器を持って、片手で兵器を持って、平和を語ることはできないと言われたことを、本当にあのよく覚えておりますけど、あのなんか、神々しくお会いしました。そう、it was like, exp-、uh, like experience of、um, meeting somebody who came from up above and、uh, he looked so. I felt he was a, a, such a divine you know, authority. And、uh, I clearly remember he said something like uh, uh, using、uh, nuclear weapons or nuclear energy in war is a crime. And、uh, holding a weapon, such a weapon in one hand,、uh, you are not entitled to talk about peace. Thank you so much. So I'm going to switch over. Okay, I'm going to switch over to thank you so much.、Uh, I'm going to switch over to the questions we have.、Uh, the first question、um, they were、uh, saying that、uh, they know people rationalize the bombs used,、um, that they ended a cruel war, or, excuse me, cruel war.、Uh, and what are your thoughts about that concept of、uh, the, the bomb ended a cruel war?、Um, and then,、um, Yeah. えー、それではあの梶本さんまた、えー、質問なんですけれども、はいえー、その、えー、理性のあるその人々がその戦争悲惨な戦争が長い間続いていたわけですよね。はい、で原爆を使ってその悲惨な戦争を終わらせる、えー、ためにその、えー、原爆を使ったと。Uh, you, Katagata, or Red in this 
ったと後から聞きましたけど本当にあの原爆受けた時の,あの地獄のような惨状は誰にも申さしてはならないという気持ちでおりますけどあの戦争を終わらせるための爆弾をあれだけの十何万人の人の命を取らなきゃいけなかったかなというのがすごくあの悲しく思います。あの実際の風景をご覧になってそれでも原爆が必要と言われる人はいないと思います。本当にすごい惨状でした。And, uh, so... So I should say that uh, uh, the, I would never want anybody else、uh, to go through such an experience because、uh, the atomic bomb brought living hell on earth. It was、uh, so tragic.、Um, uh, people say that、uh, the bomb、uh, was used to bring the war to an end. Uh, but I wonder if、uh, was it necessary to use、uh, that bomb,、uh, depriving hundreds of thousands of people's lives that way.、Um, uh, uh, it was so sad. If、uh, you were there and saw that uh, 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 scene, I don't think uh, people uh, uh, can uh, uh, say that、uh, the bomb was.、Uh, Uh, uh, necessary to end uh, uh, the war. Uh, 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 Japan was uh, uh, almost coming uh, uh, to the,、uh, you know, to be defeated, but uh, uh, so it was、uh, really a sad scene, and I don't want anybody to go through that kind of experience again. Thank you so much.、Um... One of the other questions we have is、um, Did you receive any warning about the bomb before it happened? And at what point、um, did you realize that this was a, a new type of bomb and not a traditional bomb? Deva Kajimoto san, I know K Koku o Ukerare Masta Kako no yona, Bakugeki Garu to you, K Koku o Ukerare Masta Kaka. あの原爆のそれと,、えー、とい,いつの時点で、えー、これが新型爆弾今までとは違う爆弾だということを、えー、知らされましたか警告というのはあの爆,爆弾が落ちる。Uh, so、uh, may I ask you、uh, once again the warning means the warning of、uh, the atomic bomb? Yes. Hi. Although、uh, the airplane was coming to,、uh, to the sky of Hiroshima and the bomb at around 8 15,、uh, but、uh, there was no red alert or yellow alert, no air raid warning whatsoever. So we didn't know anything. Shingata Bakudan, do you know about that? Why it's a good idea? Hi, so we were almost soon, Hiroshima Bakudan, Shingata Bakudan. 大型爆弾だと言われたそうです。それも新聞に出たそうです。原子爆弾という言葉はあのほとんどもあの当分き聞いてませんけど、新聞によりますと8月の14日に初めて小さい字で原子爆弾ではないかというのが出たと後から聞きました。だけど私たちがあの。分かったというのはもう戦後です。戦争が終わった後、当分後に、あれは新型、新型いうか、もう原子力を使った爆弾だとか、放射線があるとかというのは、もうずいぶん後でした。戦争が終わった、本当に当分何年ぐらいかな、ぐらい経ってからです。すぐではありませんでした。
And uh, so I hear that um, there were some newspaper articles soon after that telling that uh, that was a, a new type of a bomb or large uh, bomb, uh, but it didn't say it was an atomic bomb. And uh, uh, later I learned that on August the 14th, for the first time, the newspapers uh, reported uh, it was an atomic bomb. Uh, it may have been an atomic bomb in small letters. Uh, then uh, for us, uh, we didn't know anything about it for a long time. We learned about it after the end of the war. And uh, so maybe several years later, I could recognize the nature of the uh, bomb. Uh, nobody knew about the nature of the new bomb or atomic bomb or radiation for a long time after the bomb. Thank you so much. Um, another question we have, and we're gonna do about two more questions. Um, here's this, uh, one question I thought was an important one to ask you is, do you believe that maintaining peace is possible for our future as humans? Um, do you think that realistically we could achieve that peace? では、あと2つ、梶本さんに質問をお聞きしたいと思います。最初のは大事な質問なんですけれども、人類の将来にとって、実際に本当に平和を達成するということは可能だと思われますか？あのすっごく不安な部分もあるんですけど、でも人間の作った核兵器は人間の英知でなくすることできると思います。でなくしていかなきゃいけない。どうしてもなくしていかなければいけないと思います。で、世界が全て平和になるためには、みんなの全世界の本当にみんなの英知が必要だと思いますので、みんなちょっと立ち止まって考えてほしい。本当の平和は何なのか、立ち止まってみんな考えてほしいと思いますし。必ず核兵器のない世界は絶対あまり遠くない頃にやってくるんじゃないかなと希望しております。Of course, I have anxieties and I worry about the future too.、Uh, but atomic bombs and nuclear weapons were、uh, created by human beings. And I want to believe that nuclear weapons can be abolished、uh, by human beings if we summon our wisdom. And I believe we must、uh, abolish nuclear weapons with human wisdom. And、uh, the world peace, of course, we、uh, need everyone to think about it. I hope everyone will、uh, gather and bring about、uh, wisdom so that the world peace can be achieved. Please stop and think about it.、Uh, please think about what we can do to achieve peace. I hope a world without nuclear weapons can be achieved in not so distant future. That's my. Sincere hope. Wonderfully said. Thank you.、Um, and I wanted to end on this one、um, this question.、Um, is there something that you still want to do that you haven't、uh, done yet? So, is there, is there something that you have yet to do that you, you'd like to do? Is it speak to、um, those of a, a, a country you haven't been to, or is it, or is it something else? Kajimoto <laughs> san. えー、まだやり残していることでやりたいことあったら教えてください。例えば、えー、あの国にはまだ行ってないあそこへ行って話したいとか何でもいいんですけれどもこれからやりたいことを教えてください。でも私かなりあのわがままを言いましてあの核兵器の持っている国に証言に行きたいと言ったのも叶えてもらったので。フランスに行かしてもらったのであの本当にわがまま聞かせてもらってます私が今できあのしたいことは
あの叶うことであればというのは小学校の5年生から先生になりたいという夢を持ってましたので学校の先生になりたいなというのは今も思っております。Um, uh, so、uh, maybe I, it was selfish to ask this、uh, request. Uh, um, uh, I, it, uh, told,、uh, I said that I wanted to visit some countries which possess nuclear weapons, and they、uh, let me、uh, do it.、Uh, I was able to visit France. In one dream, I was not able to、uh, realize is、uh, that.、Um, Uh, I wanted to become a teacher since I was in the fifth grade, but I couldn't become a teacher. If it's going to be possible, I want to become a teacher. I wanted to become a teacher. Well, I think you taught us all this evening、um, important lessons. So、uh, you are our teacher this evening.、Um, so, so thank you for that. And, and thank you for. Joining us and, and everybody out there and, and here at the museum, thank you.、Um, and I know I speak for everybody watching when I'm saying that when I say that, you know, that was quite impactful and, and really hopefully we all leave、um, with an appreciation、um, and understanding what it was like, even if it's a small amount, to understand what it was like to go through that. So thank you so much, Ms. k a z u m o t o And、um, I also want to mention. Um, that if you enjoyed this lecture, we have another one, another distinguished lecture on September 9th、um, with、uh, Stanley Payer, local author, who's going to be speaking about、um, and sharing stories of、uh, ghost towns and historic sites here in southern Nevada. So we hope you join us for that. And, and again, Ms. k a z u m o t o thank you so much for being here and sharing your story. And thank you. Everyone for watching virtually or here at the museum, and thank you for joining us. And you all have a wonderful evening,、uh, and thank you again. Kajimoto, さんありがとうございました。あの、今日たくさん教えてくださったから、きっと先生、いい先生。今日はすごく、今日もすごくいい先生でした。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございます。Thank、okay. you.